welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican. Today I'm gonna to be working with embroidery. I'm gonna be using my 10 needle embroidery machine and I'm going to be embroidering a sweatshirt. I'm gonna be embroidering the front chest and also on a sleeve. I'm gonna be using uh, a design that says Mama. It's very trendy out there, all over the place. And of course I have to do it too. I'm gonna to be embroidering my own version of it. Uh, I'm going to be using my hoop master to hoop the sweatshirt to do the front design and also I'm going to be using my fast frame or a in one frame to embroider the sleeve. So guys, I can't wait to do this. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is in Brilliance Essentials and this is the design that I'm going to be embroidering. This is a new font that I... Um, found and I fell in love with and I'm going to be embroidering this new trend it says mama and then you put the estimated date of the firstborn or your uh, child and so yeah so let me see if I can find the name of this um, font I'm going to look for it real fast so all the way up here I plan to link the name of the, the file down on the description box. I don't remember if it was um, Creative Fabrica. It probably was. Oh, right here. It's called Shane Stitched Sport. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the um, simulator so that you uh, can um, see and have an idea how it does stitch. And then the color uh, of the um, font that I'm going to be using. Um, in the inner part, I'm going to use the pink rose. And then on the outline, I'm going to be using a gold color. I have a material trace that is called liquid gold. That is the color that I'm going to be using for the outline. So um, the whole design is 11 inches in width and a height of five inches. Okay, so let's go do it. the simulator. I'm going to make it real fast. Um, so it's gonna do, be doing the outline first. Okay, so it's gonna do it for every uh, letter, one by one. So I'm gonna advance it so that you can see it. So one is, does that, then it starts doing the um, inside embroidery and it goes through a lot of step embroidery like an exchange design stitch. It's beautiful. Okay, and then of course the last part is gonna be the, the date, the estimated date on the bottom. Okay, so um, let's go to the second part of the design because I forgot to mention this have two parts to it. So I'm gonna close this in and I'm gonna bring you to the next part. And this is gonna be all the way down here right here. So I'm going to be embroidering this part on a, a sleeve. And um, I mentioned it was a short sleeve. So this is going to be on a sleeve. Um, this is going to be a dimension of two inches width in width and four inches in the height, four and a half inches or so. Um, I think I'm going to be using my um, nine by three hoop. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, or I might use the eight in one hoop. I um, haven't decided which hoop to use. So guys, uh, I'm gonna now take you to the craft table. So I'm gonna be hooping the front chest design first, and then I'm gonna be working on a sleeve, okay? So guys, see you in a little bit. So this is the hoop masters, and these parts right here are the adjusters. These two parts right here, these two bars are separate. You have to pressure that separate, it doesn't come with the hoop master. Um, kit or the hoop master that are called the adjusters and you will move this accordingly depending on how high or how low you want your design and I have already adjusted mine for the for my uh, sweatshirt and then what you're going to do you place your mighty um, hoop the back part of the mighty hoop is facing towards the board you're going to place it here okay and then you're going to use your stabilizer because it's a sweatshirt, I'm gonna use a cutaway stabilizer. You're gonna use these flaps right here. These flaps will keep this in place. 
top and bottom okay so the next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna bring your sweatshirt or your shirt or your t-shirt or whatever you are using this for and you're gonna place it uh, on the board you're gonna open it over okay and um i have already um place my design which i always do i bring this from my um and brilliance um software so that where i want the design the distance i have already done it and this way it clears the hoop i'll touch the border of the hoop to make sure that i have clearance here and clearance here you don't want your needles to be too close to the border of the hoop all right so this looks pretty good you position the sweatshirt or the shirt or t-shirt making sure that this border right here fits in the same place so that the embroidery is not crooked i have this lining here and this line from the embroidery um printout that will match this line give you an idea of the needle here here and then here okay and then you're gonna bring the top part of your hoop and you're gonna let it go. Make sure that it's straight. It's right there. Okay. I have plenty of space. Plenty of space. Plenty of space in here. I'm going to move this a little bit towards the right. If you see these circles in here, this is the middle of the hoop. I'm off. Okay. better all right that's it so guys next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this to the embroidery machine and let's start embroidering this mama um design okay just lift it up like that take it off from the hook master i take it to the embroidery machine Okay, so I have already my color set up right here. If you're new to um, the Ricoma and you are starting on your machine, these are my colors. I'm choosing right here my hoop size. I'm going to use the Ricoma hoop size, which is the D. Um, some people use others when using the Ricoma. I don't like using that because in the beginning you cannot see the colors. So I'd rather use the closest hoop to my mighty hoop. And then I'll always trace and trace and trace a design. So it's up to you, right? So D is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to say, okay, and that's it. Uh, we are ready to go. I'm going to bring you down so that you can see what I'm doing. Again, for those who are starting with your embroidery machine, the multi noodle embroidery machine or any embroidery machine, it's always a good thing to always trace, trace, and trace, okay? Especially when you're using the mighty hoop, you don't want to hit the border of the frame. You don't want to mess up your machine. Okay. All right. I'm going to move you back because I need to check my bobbin thread because I've been embroidering a lot today and I want to make sure that I don't have to change my bobbin thread. Always do that before you start and I have plenty. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start tracing. This is what I'm doing right here. I'm going to put you here so you can see. I'm using this cursor to move my needle around. Okay. And that's why I use my Embrillion's printout because it gives me the cross. It gives me all the position that I need to center my design. This looks good right here. And then now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click this right here. Let me use my pen so you can see. I'm going to click this right here. And it's going to allow me to trace a design. 
I'm gonna say okay. Move your arm so that you can have a better view. I'm gonna twist again. I'm gonna lower this right here. A uh, thing that is very important to know when it comes to your mighty hoops. The fact that they said that the mighty hoop is A by 13, that's not the actual size. That's the size coming from the outside of the hoop. The actual size starts from the inside. So I never do any of my designs wider than or taller than 7 or 7.5. Sometimes I even take it to 7 or 6.5, same as the width. I don't have much trouble with the width because I never do designs that are 12 inches wide. When it comes to shirts, I think the largest I've done is like 11 and a half or 11. But when it comes to the height, you don't have 8 inches to go. You have to make it like, you know, um, smaller when it comes to the width of the height of the design. It's very important, okay? And then you always trace because you don't want to hit this part. I'm just saying this for those who are new using Mighty Hoops, okay? Make sure that you measure your design and you give your enough you know, space so that you don't hit the border of the of your hoop, all right? Okay, so let's get started, people. And forgot to take this off. I stopped because I forgot that I had to switch the speed of the machine. I wasn't growing something earlier and I lowered the speed. So I took it back to um, 800.
Look at this guy. This stitch is beautiful. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and um, take this to the table. Guys, look at how beautiful. I love this font. Did I say I love this font? Look at this. I love it. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to work on the sleeve um, design. And I'm going to be using this fast frame to um, embroider the sleeve. Um, this is cutaway stabilizer. A lot of people use a sticky stabilizer um, to do that. I don't like using sticky stabilizer. First of all, because it's tear away. It's not cut away. I mean, it tears. And I don't like the way it sticks to the... Um, to the frame and make it all dirty and um, if you want to use cutaway in conjunction with this it gets all stuck into the cutter I mean it's a whole mess so you can use either you can either use the sticky stabilizer or use the cutaway what I do is that I spray the back of the cutaway with um, temporary adhesive and it sticks into the frame and then I spray a little bit more and then I put it on a sleeve or on the area of the garment that I'm going to embroider with a fast frame and it works fine for me um, and then I end up with a cleaner frame also, okay? So I'm going to do that part. Um, let me detach this from here. I'm going to detach this from here and place it on the sleeve first. Okay? And I'm using the uh, line on the shirt to more or less have a center. And I want to have it like um, lower on the shirt, like here. And this is the design, this tiny design right here. So this is what I wanted, I, as opposed to all the way up here. If I would have wanted here, like I've done it before, and I have videos on using the 9x5 or 9x3 frame, which is longer than I would have done it in here. But I have a couple of videos using that frame, but I'm going to be using this one. And this is nice because I can see the border. Um, when it comes to the embroidery machine, what I used was the... Um, setting um, for the Ricoma size um, B, which is the, the 4x4. And this is roughly from the inside border three and a half inches wide, which is perfect, okay? So what I'll do when I do this is I'm gonna go and take it this way. And I'm gonna use this piece right here which I used um, when I'm embroidering my hat. It came with a Ricoma um, machine for hats. And this exactly eclipsed right on the border. So I know that when I'm doing the trace, I know it has to be away from here so that I don't hit the metal part. This is the only thing about the fat frames that you cannot see. But when I do it this way, I can actually see the border, okay? Or, you know, touch the border. It gives me an idea. You can also use the um, Wonder Clips to, to do the same thing. If you don't have this kind of clips, you can use the Wonder Clips. The one that you use for sewing and embroidering, and for sewing, it's mostly for sewing. Okay, so. Now that I have it like this, I'm going to go ahead and place the design where I want it. I'm feeling the border is all the way down here, so I have plenty of space. This is going to look cute. I was looking for the tape. So, you know, this doesn't have to be exact as long as it's in the middle of the sleeve. So when you put the, the, the shirt, you can see it up front. 
That's what I'm trying to do. You know that I only use this for, for tracing, then you know that I take that off. Okay, so this is that, and I'm going to place it here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hook this to the machine and I bring you um, around, all right? Okay, guys, so I have it in here with all the pins around and I'm going to trace it. Um, for those who have the Ricoma, what I used was the frame, the Ricoma frame size C, which is a little bit bigger, but it worked. You see, let me show you the screen. This is the way it's going to look when you try to trace it. It's going to go all the way in the corner, which is fine. But it's going to trace fine. Um, and then um, I'm going to start with a slow trace. So if you see this heart in here, it has like a little dot heart. There's a, sol a solid heart on the bottom with a needle. That's not the one I want. I want this one right here. It will um, trace it very slow. So I'm going to click it. So you see how slow it's traced. It. That gives you an idea how it's going to embroider. I'm going to show you now before I... I click the icon so that you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. It's way too high. Sorry for the movement, people. Okay, this is a better view. All right, so I'm going to press the heart that I told you that with a little um, stitches um, shape, like a stitch heart, and it's going to go very slow. You see, and it gave you an idea that I'm clearing the border because I don't want the border, okay? Now, I just realized that I had to invert the image. The image is facing that way, but on the screen, it's facing the regular way. So let me just go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch here. The image is supposed to go the other way because it's facing that um, on a sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, Escape. And I'm going to go to Design Set. Oh, let me unlock this, okay? So I'm going to go to Design Space. And this F right here, I'm going to click this. And I'm going to shoot the third one, which is the opposite. and he turned it the other way, all right? So now let's do the tracing again. I noticed because when I was tracing, it was tracing the wrong place. <laughs> so why is it tracing that way? I'm glad that I noticed. Okay, so I'm gonna go escape. I'm gonna go and it is the same thing. This is a fast tracing, which is okay. And then I'm gonna go to the slow one. Okay, now we're talking. You see it's tracing around the design so I know I'm not e I'm not near to the frame okay all right so I'm good okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the embroidery so let's get started people Starting with the names.
Okay, guys, so we are done with this. I'm going to meet you um, at the craft table, okay? Nice. It's upside down, but it's nice. <laughs> okay, guys, so this is done. What I'm going to do now is I am going to clean it up. And then I'm going to see you back when everything is nice and done. And I'll give you a closer look of the whole thing, okay? See you in a little bit. So guys, I did the trend. I am done with it. And I did the mama word. It came out amazing. I am in love with this font. I love this stitched that looks like chain. I'm going to link this below so that you can have an opportunity to get it if you're interested on it. And this came amazing too. So if you have any questions when it comes to using the hoop master or using the fast frame or adding one frames, let me know down on the description box. I have a lot of videos that include tutorials on how to use the hoop masters and all the fixtures as well as um, the uh, fast frame. Okay or anyone. Uh, okay, so guys, um, if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet, you know what I'm gonna say. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, The Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, guys, um, don't forget to click the thumb up if you like this content on your way out. I think this is everything for now. I will see you soon with new content. So guys, bye-bye, hasta luego.